Well guys, here we are, back under the house of my mum and dad's place, and uh, we're looking for more things to unbox, and certainly as you can see there's a lot here, and hopefully you watched and liked the previous videos, hopefully gave them even a subscribe, because there were plenty of cool things that we unboxed. And uh, I know there's plenty more down here. So be sure to subscribe. Check out this big episode of Unboxing My 90s. Here we are with tub number three. As you saw with the intro, my tubs was well stored underneath the house of my parents. And uh, I boxed lots of things up in the early, sorry, in the late 90s. And um, we've been unboxing them here on this channel. So please subscribe and check out the other videos. Here we go with box number three. Um, as always, I have no idea what's in them. I honestly can say, apart from a few things I can see through, I've got no idea. So here we go. What have we got here? This looks as though it's a um, an old Kmart catalog. Very big on the Power Rangers sort of stuff. Another um, sort of catalog here. This is more for the Aussie Rules AFL football. Uh, yeah, more Aussie Rules football. This is the football cards. You know, you guys are probably all into your footy and baseball cards and stuff. Well, it's all AFL over here. Oh, right, here we go with a G.I. Joe figure. Looks as I've bagged that one up so it um, doesn't get damaged or is more well protected. It is a Ninja Force figure. Oh, look at him. With that ponytail, maybe a her. <laughs> I hope it's a him. Uh, there we go. And it looks as though I've got another one over here, which is a Robotech sort of figure. Let's um, get that out of the sleeve. And it's a oh, very Japanese sort of anime style, isn't it? The um, the old Robotech figures. I remember picking these up, actually. Um, they were a bargain. They were just like literally a couple of dollars, all on clearance. And uh, that's how I ended up with a, a couple of those. Another G.I. Joe, by look at the back of it here. Um, Oh, Outback. This person's name's Outback. I bet you he's an Australian. There was, of course, a Transformer called Outback. And when he was in the cartoon, yeah, his accent was, Oh, Outback. Got to stop those Decepticons. Oh, this is pretty cool. Let's see if I can get this out. I remember this. Wow. Aliens versus Predator. And um, as you can see there, the Predator and the Alien figure. Wow. The ultimate battle between beast and hunter, as it says. As you can see, I've opened this one, so I remember playing with that one at some point. So, uh, all right, wow, retro gamers, get ready for my Christmas present from 1982. Um, <laughs> the old Pac Man. Have a look at this. We're going to get this out because this is, you know, what is this? Wanted, Gum Leaf Joe. We'll read that one later. Um, have a look at this. Wow, it's in pretty good condition. I hope it still works. <sighs> a bit dusty down there, but look at this. It's got the um, the joystick. Do, 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 do. Yeah, well, let's certainly hope that works because that's quite a collector's piece. More toys, more 90s toys, as would be, could be expected. Now, why is this so heavy? This is as heavy as can be. That is... There's no way that this is just um, an Independence Day ship inside it, as it's pictured on here. I don't know what on earth is in that, but um, it just seems like really heavy for um, what it should sort of be. But um, there's a ship. There's a ship in there. Maybe something else. Maybe a rock. I don't know. That's pretty cool. The electronic air attacker. Very cool indeed. Uh, sliding along here, something bagged up. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get this one open. Um, I might rip it open. I don't want to damage it. But it looks as though there's a, a Borg figure. Star Trek uh, Borg figure. And um, these are going to be very interesting. This I've got no idea. Again, this one's really heavy as well. Look at the box itself is, of course from an old shoe, an old shoe box, the Lynx Power Cell, maybe a bit of a Nike ripoff. What on earth is going to be in here? No idea, folks. Wow, now this is, this is a unboxing your small New Testament Bible, of course, that would have been issued to us at school, fantastic. 
These are called popples. Popples. I remember winning these in the old skill tester. The skill tester. Um, you know, the skill tester. The claw. That type of arrangement. Um, they fold in. They were sort of modified vending versions, but um, there's a few of them in there. Uh, this is pretty cool. These were the Ninja Turtles um, cards. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. But it's empty. Oh, no. What have I done with the original? Uh, I don't know where the inside is. All right, back to the Ninja Turtles cards. This is uh, going to be interesting here. What have we got? Let's get that out and turn it around. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hot hit movie. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, here we go. A nice. Oh, that's my old um, autographs book. Wow. These are all... You know, football players, look at this, look at that date, 2nd of May, 81, two Greg, up the Swannies. I don't can't tell who those are from, but look at those dates, I was just a little boy. And look at these cards, these are somewhat collectible, these wax collectible cards, there's some old Transformers in there. Cybertron form. Look, we've got Ninja Turtles. Sort of unopened, I think. Oh, look at this. Um, Dick Tracy. Ghostbusters 2. Batman. Series 2. Yeah. Um, an old lollipop sort of thing. Definitely doesn't work. Gosh, that can go in the bin. Um, Gremlins. Gremlins 2, to be precise. Um, huh, Back to the Future 2. That's great. Some of these things are really, really quite cool. Um, yeah, uh, and a little gremlin. <laughs> well, it wasn't a gremlin. Um, oh, well, they're pretty cool. And all right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. I can see on the outside, the, from the outside, sorry, of this one. Uh, that, that is a 12-inch Star Wars Kenner collectible, and this one's of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And, oh, I'm actually glad I found this. Um, actually, oh, the, is that the receipt? No, I wouldn't think that he was a $1.90. <laughs> um, but look at this inside. Wow, that's a, a wonderful collectible, uh, original 90, 1995, 1996 of Obi-Wan Kenobi. I quite like that. I'll put that up on display somewhere. That's fantastic. And we are down. Let's look in this. Anything else? We are down to the last. Now, for starters, this is a great, just a box. Air Jordans. I must have had a pretty cool pair back in the um, 90s. And um, if we just have a look here, we might move the, the tub you're done with for now. And uh, as we look at the Michael Jordan logo, the Air Jordans, this, this box itself might, um, might have some value. Wow, pretty cool. Okay, drum roll. Oh. Oh, look. Vintage. Land speeder. Very vintage. It's missing the windscreen. It's missing the windscreen. Now I can tell you, I can tell you straight away about this. This jab of the hut. This jab of the hut was my Christmas present from 1983. So Christmas 1983. December the 25th. 1983, my family, before my parents had broken up and all that sort of stuff. We were still kids. That was the, there's these dungeon, the sort of Jabber's dungeon. There's something in there. We'll have a look. This is the, the band, the Rebo, the Rebo band. It's missing a few teeth there. That's the, well, some of the figures here. There's another one. I think he was called Droopy McCool or something like that. Now, this is a nice piece right here. This is, of course, the... The skiff that um, Jabba the Hutt sent his guards and 
with Luke and a blind Han Solo from the Carbonite. You know the scene. Um, there's another one there, Max Rebo, sort of elephant looking type thing. A bit like a popple, like the popples from before. A Tauntaun. That was mine when I was a kid. I remember this. See the way the the figure, the figure, the figures sort of went in the spring loaded, you know, up to their waist, and you can see there there's sort of a pair of fake legs, but they look like Chewie's legs, don't they? I don't think Chewie ever rode the Tauntaun, but maybe they're just meant to be like a um, couple of little pieces here of Bart Simpson keyring. Ewok Babies Eraser, I remember these from about 83. And yeah, Jabbers. Oh, what else have we got? A couple of little things. Some, oh, some old matches. Look at that. Redheads. Redheads. Wow. That was the brand. And look at that. They had a bit of sign language on the back. That's fantastic. A good way to create awareness. Uh, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Backpack some other little bits and pieces but um let's open this up you of course got to do this to this end one and there's jabber's arm his little pet bird salacious crumb he looks like he's got some dust or dirt on him jabber's other arm maybe obi-wan chopped that off in the cantina and jabber's well pipe thing which sits up here there we go. Wow. Very impressed with this unboxing. So many cool things. So many cool things. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll do another one very soon when I can get another box out. Hope you all enjoyed that. Take care. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.